if you remember very well, it was June 2021. 5th. Today is 4th. It was 5th. From Saturday to Sunday, when my father in the Lord, your father, those who, who believe that he was a prophet of God, passed on to the glory. Every year, celebrating the life and the legacy of Prophet T.B. Joshua. A disciplined child always honor his father. Even in his death, you honor your father. Even if your father was a poor man, you honor your father. No matter what people will say about your father, he is your father. Personally, I promise God that for the rest of my life that I will honor this man until I leave this world. I know where I am coming from. I know what this man has done for me before he passed on. He raised me. He imparted something in me. I told you that a lion will never, will never give birth to a chicken. Even if it is a small lion, at least you see the sign that they're walking. This one looks like what? A lion. This is not a dog, but he, although he, it looks like it's a dog, but he, the walking looks like it is a lion. Praise the Lord. The Lagos lives on. Amen. We have seen the city is germinating all over the world. Hmm? Have you not seen the seed germinating all over the world? In Uganda, there is a seed which is not bearing much fruit. All over the world, you see, the seeds are germinating. Even those who were, you know, doubting him, who begin to know that, no, that man was a man of God. It happened to our Savior. No one believed in Jesus. Not until he passed on, ah, this man truly was the son of God. Praise the Lord. I want you to know these people of God. Going to church is not for membership. Bear it in mind. It is a preparation that one day you leave this world. Where are you going to be? If people are saluting you here on earth, are they going to salute you there in heaven? That is the question I need to ask you. Every servant of God, our law and our duty is to lead people to Christ, not to be members of the church. Membership is here on earth. If you leave this world, where you are going, there is no membership. Only children of God. This is why we need to appreciate the life of the apostles, the prophets, and those who are still, you know, active here on earth, as long as they are serving the purpose of God. But as for today, I want to remind you once again that this is the day that everyone is still thinking about the life of that great man of God. It was too soon for him to leave the world. Looking at the work he was doing, feeding the orphans, the widows, educating the masses, name them. He went to Israel. You watch that clip. He bought how many dialysis machines? Millions and millions of watchers. It had one dialysis machine, but he bought them and counted and gave it to the people who are not even Christians. He is my father. I don't know you, the way you, you feel if I talk about this one, but uh, that is for you. For me, I promise God that I'll continue honoring the legacy of this man. I'll never change the way you people you change. If your father died, you are looking for your spiritual father. I have seen even some of the people you call your spiritual sons and daughters. They are lying. They are doing something behind your back. They, they, they think you don't know what they are doing. 
being a servant of God, we don't trust this one or this one. No. There are special eyes and ears that can see and hear what is happening around your life. Praise the Lord. So God bless you for this. And we we'll continue praying for the church. We need the leadership that can lead you and me to salvation. Amen. I'm part of that family. And I promise to honor this man even in his death. I will not change my position up to today until I leave this world. I'm a principal the child. There's no way you can carry ten fathers. That's why some of you, you are confused. So I honor this man and I promise to be, you know, there no matter what comes. Whether you deny him, it was what for me. This man was a prophet, a prophet of our time. So for me to celebrate his legacy, I have to give my mother's a little that I have in my hand. That is the only way I can celebrate his life. Mm. So we thank God for what he has done for the world. He has done it, even for Africans. I never knew before the life of this man that even in Europe there are people who are suffering. I came to know that in Europe there are people who are homeless through prophetic B. Joshua. I have never seen a man of God taking, you know, his money to Europe. Instead, it is men of God receiving money from where? Europe. But this man break the record. Helping people, not one country. The country that you fear. He took his money there. I'm proud of his work, even after his death. And I thank God that I was part of his life. The word that he spoke to me up to today, I'm still following that path for the salvation of my soul. Amen.